All right, I want to share what I've been working on for the hackathon. It's the first time I've gone back to Bolt.new in a long time. And I was a bit worried because of everything I've done so far to with cursor and with rules. And when I did use Lovable for a bit, it was great until it wasn't. I think it was great for quick application UIs, SaaS product type, not even SaaS, like landing pages. But after that, it would just typically let me down. So I've been doing a lot in cursor and just my own rules, but for this competition, I really want to use Bolt.new because I think it adds to the competition. And uh, But it's been going really well. I write about it in one of my sub stacks. I'll share that in a moment. But basically, oh, here it is here. But basically, I'm going to show the patterns that I use a lot, and we'll go through those. So let me move this back over because it is very bright. And so the website is what can we watch together. And the goal is to make it so that you can add shows that you like to a list and then you share link with somebody. And when you share that link, they get that link and can fill it with, they can consider their shows and your shows and find the AI will find shows that might match both of you. So for example, here's one user with some shows and I can make a new share and copy that share. Now, when I click done, you don't see the new share there. I got to fix that. So we'll call this V03, just so I remember which one it is. And as the user who's going to give this to somebody, here it is. It's not much there. It tells me I have some shows or waiting for someone to join. And then the person here who is the incognito login, which is how you can test things. This can get tricky, really tricky. And obviously, I can give the user a particular name that is different. This person would get that share somehow and land on it. Now, because this person has one show, the quality of the results won't be great. They could choose more shows and help get a sense of what might be a more unique match for them. Here, one from the other day. That could be a good one to try. So here we are. I added a show, and now we're going to kick it into gear here. And I'm going to show... I'm not showing this just to show the product as much as some of the tech I'm going to be using and what you can really get out of Superbase in, in, in these tools. So here I'm going to click, okay, I'm ready to find. Now look at it, it triggers on both of them. That's pretty cool because you can be across the world sharing this list and then getting a sense. Now once this is done, it's kicking off N8N. Once this is done, I'll go over all of this, but once this is done, we can see results that then we can vet further. And so basically once I fix up the UI a bit, it'll be more clear. But both people can decide, like, hey, I've seen this. I don't want to see it again. I don't want to really want to watch this one and so forth. So here the person can go down the list and be like, not for us. Now, these buttons make no sense just yet because I, the wording is just off. That's my fault. But if I say dark is not for us, that's just me voting it down. And it go goes down on both lists. But see how it jumps like that? Just little details I got to fix up. This one, I could say person of interest. I could say on the left, the person, me who shared this, could say, hey, I love this one. And then this person's, oh, I see. They already said they love it. I'm going to say I love it too. And then that could trigger the moment we think when we go sit down to watch something together. And that's the basic gist of how this is supposed to flow. And the, all these details take time. Just get it in front of you and the users. Get some feedback. Get some thinking going. And keep building. So... What was the tech that brought this together? Okay, of course, Bolt. Bolt.new is, it's going well. I thought it would not go so well. And I've used it a long time ago when it first came out and it was very impressive then. But like all these things, I think Lovable jumped over into be the winner for me because it just was a little bit more, I don't know why actually. I think they're both great. I think because Lovable had Superbase out of the gate. Lovable, I was able to deploy again and again without losing connections to the URL. Things have changed. Things have gotten more mature. Using Bolt, I had a problem the first time doing this. I was being very opinionated. Next thing you know, I couldn't integrate it to Superbase. I said, hey, I can't do Next.js and Superbase. It's fine. Just do it the way you want. Oh, look, at they even have Stripe there. And so I let it do it the way it wanted in the second try, and things have been going great. I think I had one battle with the UI because of some weird Z-index thing, it, but it fixed it after a bit of back and forth. Sometimes I get a little bit short with it, but it worked. So that's been going well, and it's, I like how it did the UI. It thought of all of this. So if I go back to... I don't want to say all of it. it. It really has done a lot of this nice touches. Like this here is using the T, T, TMDB, so it's like a movie database, to say, hey, as the person types, 
we're going to find this database and use this database, this API, to find movies and stuff or TV shows that they might like and then show the poster. This is great. And this is exactly what I wanted in the past, wanted to build. But again, now it just built it for me. So Bolt is the driving force there, obviously, as I use it to build out the code. Now, I integrated it into Superbase. When you're using these tools, you're stuck with the hosted Superbase, so I had to use the hosted version. You can see that I have real-time events on in auth policy, so you really got to be on the game here. It did it for me, but maybe I help by just emphasizing how the policies need to work. This is tricky. Like, I'm basically saying, you know what? A, no one can see my movies but or shows but me. B, when I share this to someone, they might not be a user, so only they can see this share. That's pretty hard. But with a little bit of prompting and emphasis on the goals and the security, it was able to pull off the role level security it needed for that. Finally, when the person goes here and clicks that button, they don't need to click it later on. I need to get to a place where I'm ready to go more automatic. But when they click that, all it does is it changes the status of the share. So the share goes from pending or waiting for that viewer to ready to watch together. But in between there is, a, is AI is generating or AI is working on things. So when they click that button, it changes to a different state. And what happens is N8N is sitting here listening and in that process, oops. So what happens here is when Superbase finally, with their webhook, so let's see if I can find that one, I always forget it. We have a webhook here that will set the, the URL to be triggered when there's an update to that database, to that row. And when that row meets a certain requirement, so let's see if we could find that one. Here it is. So when that row is comes in and it's working on matches, it's basically telling N8N, hey, it's ready to run. And at this point, it just does all the work of getting all the shows people liked in their list. And then it does the AI to then iterate through those shows and then find potential matches. This tool here is just another workflow that searches the API and gets results. And then the AI takes those results and I split them up so they can loop over them and put them as rows in that database. And then I make a TL, TLDR at the end and I just mark the job as done and put the TLDR in there just like that. And that's it. But it's these things that really mean a lot because when I change the status or add new rows, the UI is told to just kind of listen and pop as needed to show that information. And again, I can make it smoother. I just, I got to do that. And if you were to look in the code, which you really don't need to, just a reminder, ideally, you're not having to do this. And we're getting so close to that being just the truth that we have moments where N8N, sorry, where Superbase and obviously the JavaScript code is told to listen for things. It listens for updates and then it reacts by reloading. It could be more subtle, but that's all it's doing. We're just saying, hey, listen to these changes. And at this point, we have our real-time events. We have the API being used, the TMDB ABI, API. Really fun stuff for this. For me, I just like this stuff. And so with their API, we're able to do that type of nice interface. Lastly, Coolify is just listening. So I have Coolify running. It's a nice hosting solution, self-hosting or hosting for with their company. And as things are pushed to that particular branch, the system just keeps deploying and just keeps hosting. It's really that easy. And then it builds it out and you see it within, what, half a minute maybe. So my updates are seen live. And that was easier because with Bolt, in any of these things, when you start to build something complex, it can be hard to QA it inside of its tool. And even in some ways to see if it's working, QA is that. But I'm like, even just to build it. So to get it outside of here and to see it at that extent was really helpful. But that's about it for that. I get a lot more detailed work to do. I'm going to add social login, which is part of Superbase, and I'll be going through that. But this is how I use Bolt to build out this tool, this app. Some nice patterns, and you just start seeing how, I don't want to say easy, but how possible it is to connect these dots or to, it's like Lego bricks. It's like these are ready to go bricks that we can start putting together to make these complex things or yeah, I would say complex in some ways. We have AI, we have automations. 
I can have that send up an update every week, every month. You can see how it can keep going and going with features without me coding anything. All right. Thank you.